الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ايها الاحبه في الله continue on our study of shar sunnah by imam barbahari rahimahullah ta'ala and we ask that allah the almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm nafi' and nafi' wa rizqan tayyib wa amalan mutaqabbilan ya rabbil alamin qala al musannif rahimahullah ta'ala imam barbahari rahimahullah ta'ala said in the 21st uh point point 21 qal wal iman bi sirati ala jahannam yakhudhu siratu siratu man sha Allah wa yajawiz wa yajawizu man sha Allah wa yasqutu fi jahannam man sha Allah wa lahum anwar ala qadri imanihim Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala said to have faith in the bridge over hell the sirat the bridge seizes whomsoever Allah pleases allows passage to whomever so whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases and causes whomever Allah pleases to fall into the hell the people are preceded by light according to the level of their iman or the level of their faith so according to the creed of ahl sunnati wal jamaa we believe in the sirat and the sirat is a bridge over the hell over the hell fire and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from it amin ya rabbil alamin and evidence for the sirat ayul habbati fillah هو ثابت بالكتاب والسنة وقول السلف. So the evidence or the دليل for the sirat, the bridge over the hellfire, is affirmed in the Quran and affirmed in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and affirmed. according to the methodology in the minhaj in the creed of the salaf of this ummah the salaf salih beginning with the sahabar sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in wa tabi'in rahimahumullah jami'an wa tabi'a tabi'in rahimahumullah jami'an so ahl sunnah affirms the sirat as imam babahari rahimahullah ta'ala uh, mentioned and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is none of you but will pass over it meaning hell this is with your lord a decree which must be accomplished but we shall save those who used to fear Allah and were dutiful to him and we shall leave the wrongdoers there and humbled to their knees and this is in surah al-maryam uh verse 71 to 72 and in the tafsir of the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem when minkum illa waridaha fasarha abdullah bin mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu wa qatada wa zayd bin aslam bil murur ala sirat wa fasarha jama'a minhum ibn abbas bi dukhul fi an-nar lakin yanjahuna minha So the mufassirin about this ayat Ahl tafsir from the sahaba and the tabi'in radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu wa Qatada wa Zayd bin Aslam they explain this ayat to refer to the uh, to refer to the murur ala sirat meaning the the passage or people's passing over this bridge over the sirat the sirat the, the bridge over the hellfire wa iyadun billah and another group from the sahaba and the tabi'in 
and from them was Ibn Abbas they explained this to mean this ayat to refer to the entering of some of the people uh, into the hellfire and that uh, some of them will be saved from it. And in the hadith of al mughira bin Shu'bah, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and this is in Ja'amiya Tirmidhi, the sign of the believers upon the Sarat is that they will say, O oh Lord, protect us, protect us. This is a sign of Ahli Iman. That they will seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance and beg Him for protection from the, the terror of the, salat, uh, of the Sarat. And the terror and calamity of Jahannam. Also in Tirmidhi, in the chapters of Tafsir, narrated Masruq, Masruq. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, she recited the ayat, the day when the earth will be changed to another earth. She said radiallahu ta'ala anha, O Messenger of Allah, where will the people be? The Prophet responded by saying, Upon the Sirat. And collected in Ibn Majah, it was narrated that Aisha anha, said, I asked the Messenger of Allah وسلم, on the day when the earth will be changed to another earth, and so will the heavens. About this ayah, and so will be the heavens. And she said, anha, where will the people be on that day? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded by saying, on the Sirat, the bridge across hell. Ayyul Habitifillah. As we mentioned, this is affirmed by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as for the ijma of the Salaf of this Ummah, Ridwanullahi alayhim. And some of the Salaf of this Ummah from Ahl al that said that there was ijma or consensus about this issue of the Sirat, were Imams like Imam al Imaman al Raziyan, Rahimahumullah. And they said, أَدْرَقْنَا عُلَمَاء فِي جَمِيلَ أَمْصَارِ هِجَازٍ وَعِرَاقٍ وَشَامٍ وَيَمَنٍ فَكَانَ مِنْ مَذْهَبِهِمْ وَالصِّرَاتِ حَقٍ Imam Raziyain, رحمهم الله, جميعاً, some of our Salaf al-Salih, they said, we met scholars from all over the world. From the Hijaz, meaning Mecca and Medina area, what Iraq, Sham, meaning like modern day Jordan and Syria and places like this, what Yemen and, 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 and Yemen. And it was their madha, meaning all these scholars that they met from all over the world and in those spe specific places. All of them had the same madha, the same methodology, the same way, the same path. That the sirat, the bridge over Jahannam, is the truth. We'll call it Imam Abu Hassan al Ash'ari, rahimahullah ta'ala. Here is. Imam Abu Hassan al Ash'ari, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, who the modern day Asha'ira, 
the Ashadis, claim that they take from his Akida. And of course they take from his early stage in Akida with regards to al asmai wa Sifat and other Mukhalafat. But the Imam, before the end of his life, returned to the Madhab of Ahl Sunnah with regards to al asmai wa Sifat and other ways in which he differed with Ahl Sunnah in his early years. And Imam Abu Hassan is from one of those Imams, Al Ashari Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that also said that this was Ijma about the Surat. Qal wa ajma'u ala inna Surati jizrul mamdud ala jahannam yajawaz alayhi al ibad bi qadr a'malihim wa annahum yatafawituna fi sur'i fi fi sura'i fi sura'ati wa ibta'i ala qadr dhalik imam abu hasan al ashari rahimahullah ta'ala said that there is consensus about the sura'at this bridge over uh, jahannam over the hellfire and that the slave or servant will pass over it in accordance with his deeds. And they will differ with regards to how quickly they pass over it or how slowly in relation to the deeds that they did in this life. And many other great imams uh, relayed this, that this is the madhab of Ahl Sunnah and from the Imams, from the many various madhabs and fiqh, like Imam Qayrawani, Ibn Abi Zayd al Qayrawani, who was a uh, Maliki, a great Maliki scholar, and Imam Ibn Hazm in his book Al Muhalla, who was of the Zahiriya madhab, and as we mentioned, the book we're studying by Imam Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala who was uh, Hanabila or Hanbali in his fiqh and this just illustrates that this is the accordance with the methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah that we affirm the Surat over Jahannam and that it will be incredibly sharp for some and incredibly thin and people will pass over it in accordance with their deeds. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who pass over the surat with ease. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, on the sunnah of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallallahu wa sallam, on the Nabi and the Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.